Today we're discussing the case of Chris Watts, a man whose name became infamous in 2018 after the tragic murder of his pregnant wife, Shanann Watts, and their two young daughters, Bella and Celeste. While the crime itself shocked the world, many have since delved into understanding the man behind these heinous acts. Today we explore the possibility of Chris Watts exhibiting traits of covert narcissism, potentially stemming from childhood emotional neglect and a pattern of people-pleasing behavior. Background of the case. Chris Watts and Shanann Watts appeared to be a normal, loving family living in Frederick, Colorado. They had two daughters, Bella, four years old, and Celeste, three years old. And Shanann was 15 weeks pregnant with their third child, a son they planned to name Nico. Chris was described as a quiet and reserved man, while Shanann was outgoing and active on social media, frequently sharing updates about their family life. However, beneath the surface, there were signs of strain. Chris's affair with a co-worker and Shanann's concerns about their relationship were becoming increasingly evident. These underlying issues set the stage for the tragic events that would unfold. Timeline of the Incident On August 13, 2018, Shanann and her daughters were reported missing. Chris initially appeared on news outlets pleading for their safe return. However, as the investigation progressed, inconsistencies in Chris's story and evidence led to his arrest. He eventually confessed to murdering his wife and daughters, claiming he did so after an argument with Shanann. His story changed multiple times, leaving many details unclear. Analysis Covert narcissism is a less obvious form of narcissistic personality disorder. Unlike overt narcissists, who are often loud and attention-seeking, covert narcissists may appear shy, modest, and unassuming. However, beneath this facade, they harbor a deep sense of entitlement, chronic feelings of inadequacy, and a hypersensitivity to criticism. Let's consider Chris Watts' background. While specific details about his childhood are limited, we can speculate that his upbringing may have involved emotional neglect and control. Children who grow up in such environments often learn to suppress their own needs and desires to gain approval and avoid conflict. This can lead to a pattern of people-pleasing behavior, where the individual constantly seeks validation from others, often at the expense of their own well-being. In his relationship with Shanann, Chris appeared to be the perfect husband and father on the surface. However, those close to them reported that Chris often seemed to be going through the motions, lacking genuine emotional engagement. This could be indicative of a deep-seated need to be seen as the good guy, a common trait in covert narcissists who rely heavily on external validation. Covert narcissists struggle with an internal conflict between their self-perception and their actual self. They often feel unworthy and inadequate, leading them to create a facade of competence and perfection. When the facade starts to crumble, as it did for Chris when he began his extramarital affair, the resulting cognitive dissonance can lead to extreme and irrational behaviors as they try to protect their fragile self-image. As Chris's affair progressed, the pressure to maintain his facade grew. The dual life he was leading began to unravel and his deep-seated fear of being exposed and judged might have triggered a catastrophic response. In a mind gripped by covert narcissism, the idea of losing control and facing the consequences of his actions could have seemed unbearable. The culmination of years of suppressed emotions, unaddressed trauma, and a desperate need to preserve his image may have led Chris to commit these unimaginable acts. The desire to escape his perceived failures and maintain control over his narrative might have driven him to the point of no return. In the aftermath of the crime, Chris's behavior exhibited typical traits of a covert narcissist. His initial pleas for his family's safe return, his calm demeanor, and his eventual confession all point towards someone who is deeply disconnected from their own emotions and actions. While we can never truly understand what was going through Chris Watt's mind, exploring the possibility of covert narcissism and the impacts of childhood emotional neglect offers a lens through which we can attempt to make sense of his actions. It's a chilling reminder of how deeply our past can shape our present and the importance of addressing our emotional wounds. Thank you for watching. Remember, this analysis is speculative and meant for educational and entertainment purposes. If you found this video thought-provoking, 
please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to leave your comments below as they often lead to interesting discussions. Until next time, take care and stay curious.